my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing airbrushing chrome ink out of these markers. Uh, we're not going to do them all, because I think they're all the same. It's the delivery system as far as the tip goes with these. Um, most of these are uh, alcohol-based inks, and um, they give you similar results. It depends on, you saw my last test, you know, where I uh, tested them on spoons and uh, mixed results, not really chrome. And um, I know uh, uh, a while ago I airbrushed some Molotow ink, which came out nice. So I figured, let's go ahead and airbrush this ink. And uh, I'll take any of these. I'll show you how to unscrew the cap. And uh, it really doesn't matter, I think, which ones you get. I, I would go for price at this point. These are Let's Resin, which I wasn't crazy about. $13.99, though, for four markers, big ones. Uh, is a good price. These are all gold, however, so I mean you're only going to get one color. These have different size uh, tips, which won't make a difference as far as uh, what we're about to do here, and that's airbrushing them. Um, the initial D car has nothing to do with it. This just came in. <laughs> I just got this in, and uh, I was unboxing some uh, stuff, and I threw it on here, so that's where he is. My ad, -ad is right there. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up these markers, pour it straight, no thinning, pour it straight into the airbrush. You can use a larger needle. For this, I'm going to use my Ace Gallery. I've been using it lately, and it's quite good. We'll go with this. And um, this is a .3. I got the new uh, upgraded needle for this. I'll be going over that in another video. But, yeah, um, we'll go ahead and we'll go with the uh, Let's Resin, I guess. There's three colors here, and you'll get the idea. These are much more expensive at 40 bucks for the four. I mean, 14 for three is a really good price. But um, this has it all. This will have us our gold, our gold, chrome, and what else? Copper. So th those are three good colors. We'll test those. And uh, that's it. I'm going to spray them on some parts. Here, we'll, do another, we'll spray this Gundam hand right here. And uh, yeah, uh, I think you guys are going to be impressed, particularly uh, at the cost of some of this stuff. And uh, to get these at this price, should it work good, we might be on to something. Anyway, um, you're going to need a glove, particularly not so much to get your hands dirty, is to get a good grip on the cap of the uh, markers. So I'm going to put this on, and let me get everything ready. Let me pause the camera. I'll be right back. All right, right back here. Here we go. I only have it on one hand. And let's see which side of this is open, right here. All right. Here we go. Here's our three colors, gold, chrome, and copper. All right, let's start with chrome, our favorite. Get a good shake. Usually there's a little marble in here or a bearing. You can kind of hear it. And uh, take off the cap. Now you're gonna need a paper towel. All right, I'm gonna use this hand. Let me get a second paper towel in case I have to grab uh, the nub here on the front. Well, let's grab a grip. You can see where it's connected here. See the top? I've checked it all these, and they all have the same delivery system. So we're going to grab this good. <clears throat> yep, got it already. Now, this should be a sheath that comes off the top. Yep. So I'll place that here. Look at the size of the, the nub. Does that absorb a lot of the ink or what? Now, we don't want that. We want this plastic right here. I'm going to get my pliers. Hold on, guys. All right. I'm going to grab that, and there we go. All right. I just lay it on the paper towel, and oh, not much. Well, you know what? Better than some of the other ones I looked at. It's halfway, and that sticks in about right here. So, yeah, it's about right. But no prep, no gloss, black base. You can spray it over anything. It's going to just come out as it comes out. And uh, I guess this is uh, kind of like the AK Super Chrome and those, where you can just spray it on anything. But anyway, let's tuck this out of the way. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to pour this into the gallery Ace Airbrush. Here we go. That's a good amount. That's all we need. It goes on pretty heavy, guys. It's not. We're not going to... We're not going to be feathering this like you would uh, all clad and whatnot. So I'm going to cap this up now. See it? That's why you want to keep your hands protected. 
I'm going to get the sheath. I don't want to get it all dirty. I'll let my hands get a little dirty here. And there we go. All right, I'm going to cap this back up. Use a paper towel to get it clean again. There we go. We cleaned it right up. Cap it off. We're ready to go. We are ready to go. Let's go check this out. All right, guys. Chrome is what we're starting with. I'll meet you at the booth. Gotta love Chrome, right, guys? Anyway, uh, you're about to be impressed. Let's go check this out. All right. Here we are at the booth. We are good to go. I have it set for... 20 PSI. Probably can go even less than that. There we go. Check this out. There's your first layer, which is a little rough, but this is going on heavy as if you are using it like a marker. So check this as we go here. Oh yeah, look at that guys. You can see me right there. Fantastic. All right, let's check out this little hand piece here. Now we can just load her up. got it I mean I'll, I'll show the results at the bench it's impressive really good uh, let me put this aside hold on guys one second still got plenty in there so uh, let's try it over a white spoon all right let me go grab a white spoon all right good old white spoon has arrived here we go I'm doing this to show you guys it doesn't matter what the background is. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> there you go. No guesswork. I mean, all guesswork has been removed. This is a dull spoon. See, it? it's not shiny like the first one I did. Let's try and put it on heavy in one shot. You can get pretty close, too. So... Yeah, there we go. Wow, I mean, it, you can see all the shells behind me. Awesome. All right, now we're going to clean this out. You can use alcohol. I'm going to use acetone, lacquer thinner. They've all worked. I've tested it. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and use acetone, but you guys can use alcohol if you want also. But uh, it cleans out easy. And uh, I'm going to go in with another color. Let me go get that done right now. All right, guys, next up is what we got here? Copper. All right, there we go. That's it. Except it doesn't look that dark in the cup. Anyway, let's see what we got. Get the dust off this. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's a little darker. Yep. That's done. Not quite chrome like they, they say it is. That's the only thing that really disappoints me here. Let's try it on the hand. Yeah, it looks good on smaller amounts, like uh, just like when I did the test and I drew the little pencil lines and it looked like chrome, but when I tried to go heavy, it doesn't look like chrome. It looks like it's the same thing here. Smaller pieces leave a nice shine. Look at that. It's beautiful. Awesome. I mean, it really came out nice. All right, let me put that aside. Uh... Let's try one of these more complex looking pieces here. It lays down beautifully. It doesn't run. Uh, look at this. I mean, this piece is done. I mean, look at that. It looks like it's plated. It doesn't have that mega shine, but I actually like this look, actually. It, it does look really good. Wow. I mean, that is impressive. Wow. Excellent. Um, I don't know what else to put it on. Let me put it over, uh, let's try it over a white spoon.
I don't know if white would make it better. It looks exactly the same. Anyway, all right, let me get the gold. We'll spray that, and then we'll go back at the bench, go over the results. All right, guys, next up is the gold. We are loaded. Loaded for bear. All right, what do we got here? Here we go. All right, we'll just show this quick. I'll do everything else off, off camera, so we can just, you've seen it going on, so here we go. Ah, nice. Gold is nice. It is different. I got the other one right here. Look. Look at the difference. So it is a big difference. It looked the same in the cup until it went on. Um, I got a Gundam piece back here. Let's uh Oh my god. Let's try it over a clear spoon. Not that it would matter, but let's see. I'm trying to get the dust off these. He's been sitting here a while. Here we go. <laughs> That little, looks like I dipped it in plating gold. It's better than have that chrome look, but it does look nice. Let's try. Uh, let me grab another clear spoon here. Let's try from the back. Let's see what we get when we look through for the front. Hold on, guys. Let me wipe off this spoon. Let's see what we get. You know what I mean? Let's we'll spray from the back. Wow, that covered quick. Ah, uh, not much. Yeah, doesn't look good. It, it does go on nice though. I mean, it's almost foolproof. It's really, really, uh, really good. I mean, there's some paints that are made just for airbrushing that are just as good, if not even not as good as this. So, uh, yeah. All right, let me clean this out. We'll go back to the bench. I'll show them up at the bench, and uh, we'll go over the results. All right, guys, here I am at the bench. And before I show the results, I'm going to show you how good this gallery airbrush cleans. Um, I just shot the acetone through it quick. You can see the polished cup. And I put the blow back, dumped it out. I usually wipe the needle off when I'm done. And I've noticed the last few times I've done this. Let me grab a paper towel here. I'm going to dip this in some acetone. There we are. Right there, dipped in acetone. Look at this. Nothing. I mean, it, it really... It's really efficient, this brush, uh, this airbrush, as far as cleaning goes. And, uh, I mean, I just, I just flashed, there's, there's nothing. It, it's cleaned itself out. Now, part of it has to do with these inks. They're really thin. You guys have seen them. But I've noticed that with some of my other colors I sprayed, and then I pulled this out to clean it, and it's absolutely clean, really clean. It's got a good seal right here. I can feel when I'm pushing it in, the seal right here, and then, uh, seems to keep the paint at bay and whatever's going forward cleans itself out and uh, yeah anyway that's a little, little side note I'll put links up for these gallery airbrushes they, uh, they're selling out quick and um, for good reason they're really really good airbrushes and uh, good to see a new brand like them come along and really put out a quality product anyway guys let me pause the camera and let me get the results of the spoons and like magic they all appear and uh, yeah, this stuff's impressive. And I tested many of these behind the scenes. I'll show you the uh, Flycy one in a second. And uh, to show you that they're all probably the same ink, it's just a delivery system. But here we go. Here is the chrome. I mean, oh, did I get a mark on it? I think I spilled something on it. Let me grab this. Check that out. And I did a bunch more. Hold on. Not that it matters, they all look the same. Hold on, guys. I'm right here. Yeah. I mean, I just kept testing off camera. Here it is over the clear. That's the back. I just sprayed it over the front. Not that it mattered over clear. Let's check out the little hand that I painted. Here it is. Look at that. Trying to get a good shot here for you. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now, it takes a while to dry. Um, these I had drying overnight. And um, pretty durable. Uh, I still think uh, it's going to be like most. It's going to take a while to dry. Probably 48 hours. But, I mean, right here, it actually says scratch proof. I doubt it. Yeah, I really doubt it. Where's their features? Yeah. Permanent, waterproof, highly opaque, scratch proof, UV resistant. 
Yeah, we'll see. I think it fully has the cure. You know, this is, a, I, I personally, I wouldn't cut, put anything over this. I will test clear coating these once they're fully dry in a little bit. But uh, like I said, these are for things like, see, I have hawks here. The only handling I do with hawks is I move them around. But a lot of my Gundam, they, I keep them in a position. I don't reposition them. Pose them is the word, I guess, posing them. So I don't really touch them much. And if I do an aircraft, the aircraft just sits there. I'm not playing with it. You know, I'm not a kid. I'm not going to, I'm not, not playing paper airplane with these things. They sit, you know. So for that, they're great. Now check out this. Look at this piece I sprayed. I mean, look at this. This, is, I think, is on the gun cannon kit, the red one. Look at this. That's one coating. I mean, it's just beautiful. All right? I think I can handle it. I sprayed this yesterday. Yep. Yep, I can handle it. Look at that. So, really impressive. Now, at 14 bucks to get the three colors, that's less than 5 bucks. Uh, all clads are 10 bucks a piece. That'd be 30 bucks. It's half price. It's half price. Um, all right, gold. Now, here's my disappointment. It's just not quite gold chrome like they all say. I mean, it's a beautiful gold. Autofocus here. But not quite up to standard. Now, on this piece, you almost get chrome. Like I said, the smaller you go, the better it looks as far as the shine goes. But this it's kind of to scale, though, the shine. How good does that look, guys? I didn't do the hand in this. I did the hand in the uh, copper. Let me grab the copper. Here is the copper. This is it. Now, I did it over different colors. Here it is, the clear. Here it is, white. To show you that it comes out the same. It's just the same, and it's so opaque that no matter what, no matter what it goes over, this is the color you're going to get. But, once again, on a smaller surface, now we got something. Check this out. All right? Let me see. I can get something. Oh my guys, let me get a piece of cardboard here so we don't get the autofocus going nuts. No editing here, guys. We don't do any editing here. Fancy edits anyway. This is all real time. Look at that. See what I mean? So the smaller we go, the much better effect you get. Alright, check this piece out. Look at that. Awesome. Just awesome. It covers every nook and cranny. It just went right in there. It doesn't run. It dries evenly. Um, I wish you could see how much different it is from the gold. I'll show you. I'll hold them up here. Now you can see the difference. They look the same when I hold them up in these angles till you put them side by side. I'll show you with the spoons how different the gold actually looks. There you go. Anyway, let me show you the uh, fly C. I did that also for a patron request that's right here so you can see it's the same where is the other one All right seems like a little more of a blue tint to it this uh, let's resin looks like it has a little bit of a better quality well this one's close though this is let's this is the fly fly see one so well, there you go oh let's see there you go so, I'll put links to uh, most of these up again in my uh, description below the video. And uh, if you want to click through, I'll put the Let's Resin. I got these, I think, on Amazon. Like I said, $13.99. Can't go wrong. And I'll put links to some of the other ones. If you watch my previous video that I just did where I uh, tested the markers and didn't airbrush them, with that video below the video, I have links to all of them. And all of those will do what these do. And uh, we're going to try one more thing. Let me clear the field here. We're going to try brush painting one. We're going to do that right now. All right, I had to get a piece here. I got a little hand here and uh, the spoon here. I just opened up the marker. Hold on. It's over here so it doesn't tip over. Let's pour some in this cup. Oop, there goes the cup. All right, here we go. Just a little bit so we can dab it on. There we go. That's all we need. All right, let me put this back so it doesn't spill. There we go. All right, let's see how it goes. Use my wacky two-sided brush here that came with my Ravel kit. All right, here we go. Let's tip it a little bit so it goes down. All right, 
I'm gonna put on heavy like we always do. Let's zoom in a bit here. Here we go. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm trying to get this uh, so you guys can see it. All right, let's see if this little cardboard helps. Let me dip the brush again. Let's see what we get. Yeah, brush is on kind of like the uh, um, green stuff world, the brush on one. Yeah, it goes on. You can brush it. So I guess if you cut off, you have to cut something and you get an exposed part, you can go ahead and airbrush, uh, part that you airbrushed, and you can go ahead and paint it. Let me grab the spoon. Let's see if we get it even. Let me dip it again. All right, here we go. Yeah, not the same. It's got to go on a small area. But it does like to go on heavy, that's for sure. You get much better results if it goes on heavy. Not bad, though. And believe it or not, a lot of this is going to dry up nice and even. So let me let this dry for a minute or two. Let me get this out of here, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, I cleared everything out. And, uh, yeah, it dried. Not quite dry all the way, but it's drying even. See it? You know, it doesn't have that nice real smooth texture airbrushing gets you but if you need to touch up little spots it'll work I mean look how good this hand came out look at that so yeah um, really good results a good way for not too much money to get into uh, a chrome painting and like I said I, I wouldn't clear them but uh, if you let them dry a few days, it'll be enough that I think you can pose it and get it where you want it. It'll look great on the kit, particularly if you put them under the glass like I showed you in one of my videos, those little glass uh, display cases and uh, detoffs and whatnot you put them in. They're just going to be on the glass anyway. I, I think this is a, a good alternative. Um, some have more colors. Uh, I didn't open these up. I mean, this one, you're not going to get as much because the pens are skinnier. See it? But you're going to get a bunch of colors. I mean, this has got six colors in it, and this was uh, this was only fourteen seventy nine. It's fifteen bucks. So, yeah, I'll put links to all these in the description below, and uh, and I'll put a link to the uh, gallery airbrush, which is fantastic. It has been performing great. Uh, good work, guys. You did a good job designing that. And uh, yeah, that is it. Um, thumbs up. I think this is uh, really good. It's not quite chrome, particularly on the colors, but pretty much pretty good enough. This is about as good as I've gotten. On everything else the chrome itself is chrome though that is good um, I'm gonna swing the camera over here guys I want to show you something that I got today I'm pretty excited about hold on check it out Grandizer my logo my little guy and my logo for Barbatos Rex in the uh, the channel I mean here is a metal build X here that just came in with this but I waited a long time for a nice um, figure of and there he is. I mean, he has LEDs. He lights up. I think all the legs light up. Anything with green lights up. And it's USB rechargeable on a stand. You can see the stand right here. Oh, it's just, it's just an awesome piece. And uh, really excited. I wanted to show you guys. It literally just came in a couple hours ago. I just opened the box. And, uh, yeah, he was in the box. And he, the initial D car was in the box. That's the RX-7. Uh, I'll let you guys on a little bit, a little bit of history here. I actually own the car that's beloved in, in uh, Initial D. I own the A86, the Toyota the, uh, in America here. It was the Corolla GTS 16 valve. Uh, I had the one with the coupe. I had the little trunk. It was red with, you know, with the pop-up headlights. And I uh, love that car. I actually had two CRXs, and I had that car and um, a Mazda uh, Sport Coupe MX-6. MX I, I had them all. I love cars. I kept buying them every couple of years. I wish I had them all today, that's for sure. Particularly that Corolla. Um, yeah, so that's why you see a lot of these type of kits. It, it's the era I grew up in and owned. I owned a lot of these cars, believe it or not. Celicas, all of them. I owned them all. Anyway, guys, enough of the history. Uh, yes, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell uh, as I'm going to do at least two videos a week. I'm going to do another one this weekend, so this might be a free video week. Um, I have some racks we're going to test, and I got some products that were just sent in, and we're going to be testing those too. Anyway, be sure to do that, and uh, yeah, thanks guys. You guys are the best. If you want, join my Patreon. I'll put the link below for that too, and then the Patreon, which is involving this, 
Somebody asked if I could put a clear coat of Tamiya clear. That's why this is sitting on the desk. Over this chrome pen, this exact chrome pen by Flysy, And that's why I have the Flysy done here, ready to go. And we want to see the results of this sprayed over that. And he's a Patreon member, so I'm going to do that just for him on video, and I'm going to post that on Patreon. So if you have any questions, I'll answer them directly. We chat back and forth. If you need to see it, I'll videotape it, and I'll airbrush uh, the colors you want to see tested just for you. And that's what the Patreon is for. It's only 4 bucks a month. Helps the channel. The link is below. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. You guys are the best. Have a great weekend coming up. I will see you over the weekend with another video. Have a wonderful rest of your day.